from Green <laughs> Welcome back to John. Hey John. Time for some music now. to this denying your instincts. Men say, you know, deep down in the pit of your soul, you wish you could crouch in the grass, eyes biting your face, afraid to fall for fear of averting the beasts, covering yourself with yak gear and the torch of spell. Then, a beast draws close, mounts, bringing your battle axe on its skull. Man and animal at that moment, one in the same in a terrible beauty. Then you drag their carcass back to camp and celebrate something its heart. Some people, they only do this once in a lifetime. I do this every day! All it takes is some positive thinking. Just attend by Unleash the Norse within weekend. When you are finished, you will say, I am a god. Nobody can stop me. I crush my enemies and dance on their funeral pyres. This is very helpful for living in superb and I should know. I really don't understand how. Oh, it's very helpful. Maybe a neighbor is tossing his leaf clippings on your lawn or looking at your woman, harboring desires regarding your lawn. If you enslave his children, set his house on fire, he shall not bother you again. It must be nice to have you as a neighbor, not. I live in no place longer than needed to fulfill my goals. We'll be rocking steady on the beat of the morning. Stay with us now and let your light shine out. This is the peacemaker. Paris Wild. Give you the best of the best. Better than anything else. Only so, on what do you job. think of Vice City? Ah, I like them. Love them. Love them. They are large, not like those funny things in the world. A woman who eats well provides for her man. You cannot set sail for property pillaging at a death It's like the story of the parson's wife and the troll. I don't think I've ever heard of that one. Great, Carl Erson. The mainlanders have no historical perspective. 
read the runes! It's all right there. Talk to a grandparent. But no, he cast people out like rubbish. Wisdom is not to be treated so lightly. When my father grew old, I sat with him day and night, absorbing his wisdom, learning about the demons and where the wickedness resides in men's hearts. And as his time grew near, I built a large pyre, burnt him and his wife for the Holy Spirit. That's all, Mr. Green is back on the show. Oh, Brody, what are you doing? I'm just adjusting myself. So I'm wearing these out of It does get a bit itchy. Um, okay. You never answered my question. What do you think of Vice City? Your land and people have a lot in common with mine. You see, we too fled our homes due to lack of food, overpopulation, and the bitter cold. And, mind you, Starting out to raid passing ships is fine, but we needed a new land to have our way with. Granted, we roll and sail to an area, land in course, and burn down a local monastery or village, whereas you come in, destroy all the creatures, and so and the curse and He did a fine job pillaging these lands, but he should have done something about Canada. Wait a minute there, Buster. My mother's not Canadian. Oh, what are you going to do, Wench? Keep the ice furiously at me? Ha! Huh. Socialized medicine? Nah, you did it all wrong. You should have continued to the north and finished things off. I talk about this in the motivational learning tapes. That and beware the magpie, which is the devil. Evil reigneth when darkness falls. Are you married? You seem like a tough character to live with. Hi, me wife Helga. What a hag. This show is not sexist, whatever certain bearded women might say. Women are people too. I'd appreciate if you wouldn't talk that way. Ah, go live in a chimney, you troll. You 20th century women are all the same. And me hag Helga, she felt pretty or uppity ways. She says to me, Thor, I ain't having no mead no more. I'm going to meetings. See? That's your problem. As soon as you sort something out, you have to go preaching from the rooftops to everyone else how to live, not pillage nor plunder no more, but live in boxes. And she says, Thor, I'm getting me stomach stapled. I look fat and now fitteth two yak skins, where previously it was only one. I say, wench, don't come crying to me when we're in a long boat crossing the straits for two moons, and you're all skin and bones. A man needs something to grab onto. I ain't her fault. A cursed pixie goblin got her. Pixie goblin? What kind of weird ancient nonsense are you talking about? Now, Thor, I've got to ask you, how old are you? I am as old as a fjord, as young as a newborn lamb. Are you shy about your age? <laughs> Just lie about it, like my mom. Thor is never shy. Thor is mighty. Thor is a god. And where are you from? From the beginning of the flat earth, where the sun meets the sky. Oh, right. By the beach. Great. Let's take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Thor. He's a real Viking. Hello, I am Fernando Martinez. I think by now you know I am an emotional kind of guy. People stop me in the street. 